Yes. The temperatures there are too high. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, go ahead. I rise to defend the Deputy President Rigadi Gachagua against what I am calling mob justice, a process that has not given him the right of reply, a process that has gone on, presented Order, some fact checks to the villages, and disseminated information Order. to the members of public without giving him the opportunity to defend himself. All, all your horses, uh, Wamichomba. I was consulting with KJ. I didn't hear what you said. Can you repeat? Can you repeat what you said? I can't hear you, Mr. Speaker. I repeat what you said. I didn't hear. I was consulting with Honorable Member for Dagoretti. I have said... I, I rise to defend the Deputy President, the Honorable Rigade Joyfrey Gashagwa, against a process that I feel personally as my opinion, it is, mass, uh, uh, it is uh, mob justice against the presi Deputy President because he has not been given the right of liberty before we went for public participation. That is what I've said. On Honorable Wamchomba. According to the starting Ho order Hon here. Honorable Wamchomba, that is neither factual nor legal because the deputy president is appearing before this house at five. So be factual. Mr. Speaker, yes. please allow me to execute my Go point ahead. and you can, you, can, you can guide. Procedurally, Mr. Speaker, the fact sheets that were distributed in our constituencies had allegations that were read out to members of public as facts. So to me, the fact sheets that were distributed in our constituencies were fact sheets that were communicating facts. But from where I come from, Mr. Speaker, what was typed in those papers was not factual and needed to be interrogated. And I'm glad that the Deputy President is appearing in an hour's time here to come and clear the air. Mr. Speaker, before I defend and I, I give my, my, my submission, I request you to allow me to refer to the starting order number 91 on responsibility for statement of facts. A member shall be responsible for accuracy and facts for whatever allegations that comes and disseminates from this house. Mr. Speaker, this morning, we were watching video clips on our television in this house. Those video clips that were played in this house were reported speeches that were reported from various media houses in this country. Mr. Speaker, according to the Kenyan Constitution and the Data Protection Act, it is our duty to clarify information before we disseminate and use it for a quasi-judicial process like we are handling today. Mr. Speaker, I would want your guidance whether those media clips that were used this morning in the floor of this house by the mover of this motion, whether those media clips were qualified to be used in this process of impeachment. Mr. Speaker, my other issue is I will be glad that the mover of this motion clarifies that the allegation around the corruption issues on procurement matters have been taken through the right areas of Auditor General so that we can have fact to discuss this afternoon. Otherwise, according to me, the allegations that have been tabled by the mover of these motions are mere mud slinging, they are hearsay, they are gossips and they must stop and Mr. Deputy President must continue working for this country with all the energy, with all the labor and with all the love that he has had. And those of those that feel that Mr. Deputy President has been biased into Mount Kenya politics, please forgive us, but we must tell you, everybody has their home. The Deputy President comes from Mount Kenya and every good thing starts from Jerusalem. 
Even Jesus had to start his good work from Jerusalem. We are the Jerusalem. We shall continue allowing the deputy president to do the work he's been doing in Mount Kenya, even as he tries and attempts to work in other parts of this country. I have personally escorted the deputy president in other areas outside Mount Kenya. I know Mr. Deputy President has tried. It is barely two years before Mr. Deputy President continues with his work. Please allow him space to work. Two years are not sufficient. Even for the members in this house know very well, they have also not been able to do what they promised their voters during campaigns. We are all elected members here, and we know we made pledges, and two years are not sufficient for anybody to use that as a basis to judge anybody on the performance. I support that the deputy president be given the opportunity to serve this country, and those that are attacking the deputy president for working on behalf of the Mount Kenya region, they must also accept that everybody has a village where they come from, everybody has a home where they come from, and every good thing starts from Jerusalem, just like Jesus Christ did. Asante Nisana, and I refuse. The deputy president is going nowhere. He's going to stay here to serve us. To serve us as we gave him votes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to contribute.